Yo, yeah, what's everybody? This is a quick video, uh, part two of the zero line battery. I'm just gonna show in this video how it looks, because a lot of people on Google Plus and you know checking out the video, you know. First of all, this battery is gonna give you two days, two and a half days with heavy usage. I got two and a half days with heavy usage. I'm not gonna show you no battery stats because I had to take the battery out and use my. Q-cell batteries because I wasn't gonna freaking because when it died it died today actually so I wasn't gonna freaking uh, Let it charge for two hours, you know 12 hours and I used the phone all day so I swapped it and used my uh, One of my Q-cells so the battery stats are still showing from the Q-cell all day So I'm not gonna show battery stats anyway bottom line is this battery is going to give you two days you can get it on amazon i put the link in the description so you guys can check it out you definitely gonna get two days bottom line with that so i'm going to take off the cover here and put it next to a couple other batteries i have because i got mad batteries i don't just have one little dinky battery all right i got this battery this is how it looks with the back all right that's how it looks Alright, let's pop it open. Gotta be careful with it there, a little bit. Alright, now this is, this is how it looks. Alright, it's two batteries, one here, one there, and then one, one on the back. So it's two batteries. Now let's put it up against some of the heavy hitters that I have. I have two different batteries here. I have one 4200 from Yobao. This is an excellent battery. Shout out to Floss. He has his battery on his, uh, he also had this battery on his S3. This battery, I'm getting 14 hours, in 14 hours easily with the crazy usage. Alright. Yobao.com. Uh, definitely a great battery. I still use this battery as well. So let's compare it to the Yobao battery. Alright. So as you guys can see, the 7000 milliamp battery is slimmer than the Yobao. Okay. Let's check out the anchor. Also, another great battery. Did a video on uh, this battery as well. It is uh, the 4400 anchor battery. Definitely worth getting as well. But um, as you guys can see, the anchor battery is a little thicker. Okay, it's a little thicker. So even you know with the um, and then also I have some slims here. Because I do use the Slims because I have a lot of cases. So, I didn't even open this one yet. <laughs> Still in the original wrapping. But these are another great battery from Q-Cell. Alright. And I got other batteries over there on the desk. But, uh, just show you guys the demonstration video right there quick. Alright. <coughs> so, this uh, Zero Lemon is definitely worth getting. It has the prawns on the bottom there you just line it up of course to the prawns on your galaxy s3 which is right there and you just press down and snaps right in so i'm going to put this case back on and we're going to and it fits on like a glove say fits on with <laughs> no problems just snap it this fits you hear that clicking and a couple other people were saying on uh, YouTube, before, way before I got this battery, that, um, put these back over here, look. People on YouTube were saying that the sides were loose and all that bullshit. The sides are not loose. Everything is snugged. Everything is tight. There's no loose. Nothing at all. See? Everything's fine. I'm going to turn it on right now, real quick. But everything is perfect with this case. There is absolutely no issues with uh, with it being loose around the corners. So a lot of people are a little leery. Oh, is the, is the edge uh, loose? No, they're not. They, it's a tight, it's a tight fit around the case. So, and I'm running uh, for the ROM that I'm running because I'm sure I'm gonna get access. You know, somebody's gonna ask this question. I'm running CM10, M2, not the M3 build. Because when I had the <coughs> when I had M3, I was noticing the battery draining way too quick, <coughs> and the 
kernel that I was using, um, the kernel that I was using was, uh, you know, I got the Motorola rings right there. See that right there, flipping around like that. That's definitely uh, official. Got the pull down there. All right. I'll do another video on this uh, later in the week. But regarding this zero lemon battery, definitely worth getting. Highly recommend it. Like I said, I put the link in the description. So you guys can check it out on Amazon. They were sold out when I looked on when I looked at it today. Right now it's uh, 18th. Uh, a few people on Google Plus were asking about it. I would, I would hit up Zero Lemon directly on their website or, uh, you know, things like that and see what they say. You know, when they're going to come back in stock. They do come in different colors. They come in black and they come in white and then they make a blue one now. I got the black one because <coughs> I just like the black one a lot better. But I am going to rock this battery from time to time. I got some new, I got a new case coming in, and I got a tempered glass from iLoom. Um, I'm going to do a video on that as well. I'm getting that replaced. That that's going to be the replacement actually. I'm getting I had, a, I had an issue with that one, but uh, we're going to draw that on the S3. Right now, I'm rocking it with nothing on it, but I also have a pouch, so it doesn't really matter. But I just try to get that video out there. You know, people saying that all oh, you charging it and all those bullshit. You know. I have mad batteries. I can really care less about one 7,000 milliamp battery. Like I said, I have multiple other batteries. You know, not just one battery. So, because I go crazy with all my devices, get mad accessories and shit like that. So, anyway, um, with that being said, you're able to get full day, uh, a full uh, two days out of this battery. <coughs> Alright? So, you just have to get it and. Uh, see for yourself but this is a zero lemon battery definitely worth getting uh zero lemon uh brandon with the lemon right there i would do a video in probably a couple of weeks because i've been calibrating this battery and uh the reason why i've been taking it out is because by the time this is dying after the second day you know i have to swap this battery out and put one of my slims in because i'm not gonna you know leave the um, phone charger for 12 hours. So that's the reason why the battery stats are, are, are like that and you know it looks like it's been charging but that's because I had to use my slim battery so there you go not a big deal. So once I had done calibrating this battery because as you guys can see you gotta calibrate it and you gotta charge it for at least 12 hours so I haven't been able to kill it that fast obviously because it's a 7000 milliamp battery that's the reason why I've been uh, swapping the batteries. So the battery stats right now are not correct um, well, the one is, but the other ones are not. Like right now, it says the battery's good for seven hours, but that's because I had the slim battery in just now. So anyway, not a big deal. Once I calibrate the battery and I charge it every day overnight, uh, or when it dies, <coughs> then I'll be able to get a full reading once, once the stats reset and all that shit. So, but like I said, I'm not really concerned about doing all that because... I have so many batteries, I'm not going to be using this battery every day on a daily basis. Yeah, I'm going to switch it out every once in a while. But That was just a quick video with the Zero Lemon. Put the link in the description if you guys want to buy it. Definitely worth getting. You get two, two, two full days out of this battery. The craziest user in the world. I don't care if you're doing YouTube, surfing the web, talking, texting, Voxer. And that's another thing. I'm on Voxer a lot. All right. I have multiple people on Voxer that I Vox with. Um, and we talk about all this tech shit and phone stuff, so, uh, so yeah, so, Voxer's the battery killer, and I'm on Voxer a lot, and, uh, YouTube and all that shit, so, with this, this is, this holds up for two days, with no issues, so, this is a quick video, talking about that, showing you guys that, I'll do a video on these cases, uh, <coughs> This one case from iLoom that's coming in the mail. I should have it tomorrow. And uh, the iLoom Semper Glass. We'll get into that video when they come in. They should be in there tomorrow. Well, well today. Right now it's uh, the 18th. Either today or, uh, you know, Friday I should have it. Alright, guys. I'm out. Peace.